connect and map controllers with DJ Pro for the MacBook. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out how you are gonna plug your controller into your MacBook. My MacBook only has USB-C connections and most controllers, except for like brand new ones, the wire is gonna be regular USB. So it's a very simple, inexpensive product that you need. It's gonna be one of these. Now, this is an adapter that connects to the USB-C of the MacBook or iPad, and then you have a USB over here, so I'm gonna plug my controller into there. And then I recommend getting one with HDMI so that you can do video mixing. I will get into that a little bit later, but I will leave a link down below for one of these so you can connect your controller into your iPad. So I am gonna plug in my controller. I'm using the Newmark DJ to go to touch. This is an awesome mini controller and it's very affordable. So look what happens at the screen when I plug in the controller. This is different than the iPad. So when I plug in the controller, the screen changes, it goes to a hardware mode, and then it's gonna ask us about our audio setup. So it's gonna be main output channels one and two, so that's the main output on the controller. And then pre cuming three and four. If you wanted to change this, you can, but I am just going to leave it. So now the controller is plugged in. The uh, screen looks a little bit different because it gives you like a hardware mode. But if you wanted to get that crossfader back, what you could do is go over here to the top right. And then now we have our crossfader and we can be using the controller and get the best best view. I would recommend leaving in here so you have a better view of what you are doing. Now to map the controller with this app for the MacBook is really easy. What we are going to do is go up here because since it is a Mac app, we have this menu up here. So there's Mixer, Library, MIDI, Window, and Help. So we are going to go to MIDI. And then it doesn't say map the controller, but it says configure. So it, it may be a little confusing, but that is what we are going to do. So over here, it says configure. So we're going to press that. That is how we are going to map this controller. So now you may be wondering, how do you know which button or which knob we are mapping? It is very simple. You just have to touch the button that you want to map. So for this example, I am going to map this headphone button into an effects button. That's what I would recommend with this controller because DJ Pro, it automatically, if you see the light on the controller, it automatically selects the right headphones based on the crossfader. So this is a button that we don't need. So let's map something else. So we're going to press the button and then you see it comes up. Look, I'm going to click somewhere else on here. I just clicked somewhere random. And now press the button. And it says Deck 2 Monitor Active. So, so when you click on, when you find the button that we want to use, so this is deck is over here, note D number 1. It is mapped to the mixer. We want to map it to a deck. So click where it says mixer, and then we have the option. Now we are going to go to Deck 2. To, to net, you see, now it's on deck two, and now we are going to select the action. So we have the target, which is going to be deck two, and then we're going to go to the option. Now we're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, FX, one enabled. So now if we look at our effects over here, so here we have on, and then we have our effects. Now, if you look at it, I'm going to press this headphone button, and now my effect is on. Effect on, effect off. So now, instead of having this useless headphone button, we have a way to change the effect. And now, this is the same thing. You do the same thing if you want to map any other button. So, MIDI device, configure. Now, here we are. Let's do the other one. So, I press that. Tart. Target is mixer, we want deck one. Deck one. Action is going to be FX one enabled. Boom, done. Now look at the left side of the screen. 
manual, boom. So now we have effects on both of these. It's really easy. It may seem confusing on how to find the button or not, but all you have to do is press it and then it will come up and you can map pretty much any button and any knob to do what you want. So don't feel like you have to get a new controller because we, the controller you have doesn't have the exact button or feature that you want. You could literally map in any feature, any advanced feature that you that you want. And if you want to learn how to connect your iPad, how to connect a controller to the same app for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.